Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Lady Torrid, our dark, dangerous dominatrix here at the uh, Monastery of Mayhem. Hello, everyone. And uh, I guess you're, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about, hey, you know, why aren't we uh, shooting in the normal rooms of the Monastery of Mayhem where we where we do most of our filming? Well, full. Well, uh, yes, they're full of your 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 slaves and minions. Your your minions, yes. I mean, she's got them stacked up like cordwood in there. I mean, ball gags and collars, as far as the eye can see. And our uh, our new sponsor. We're not going to tell you who they are just yet because we're still finalizing a couple of details. But they are renovating uh, the monastery, so we're going to have a whole new look the next uh, in the near future. So you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for that. Don't worry, this won't change. No, it's like. So how are the girls today? They're looking quite lovely. Perky as always. Oh, without a doubt, you know. And trust me, I'm. Sure, they are very perky. I can say that on personal experience. <laughs> but <laughs> that's cute that you think that. Yes, it's like he's so he's so amusing, isn't he? And brother, I guess dreams count as personal experience. There you go. It's and like the monastery man. Yes, it's like brother Jack he does a lot of things in his dreams. You know, it's like I can be happy. You know, they're usually wet. Well, that, okay, well, it's like, you had to go there, didn't you? It's like, I want to live a personally rewarding life, I can do it in my dreams, because it ain't happening in real life, so, anyway. Um, yes, our new sponsor is uh, renovating the Monastery of Mayhem, and we're going to have a whole new look that you're going to want to watch and keep your eyes open for. Um, we also want to thank our good friends at the Grindhouse channel, they are picking us up, and uh, the Grindhouse channel is in development right now, and it will be available to download through your Roku box or view online at www.thegrindhousechannel, that's all one word, and lowercase, dot com. Um, we'll also uh, be on their Roku channel and on their web broadcasts as well. Uh, so thanks to them, you know, welcome aboard guys, you know, part of the Angry Brothers family here. Uh, tonight's movie. Welcome to the family. Yes, welcome to the family. It's like I almost got out, but they dragged me back in. But you like it when you're dragged. Yes, I do. Unfortunately, it's like. Or is that in drag? No, I. Me Oops, and, my bad. Me in drag. That would really be an ugly. That would be truly be a horror show. <laughs> You know, it's like I go down to the max and I, there'd be drag queens committing suicide all over the place. Like, that's... Uh, yes, and uh, just, you know, um, been a bit of long, busy week for us here at the Monastery of Mayhem. I know you've had a lot of personal things going on, a lot of projects in the works, and... You can call them projects. Yes, it's like, yeah, well, that's what all that screaming and moaning is I hear coming out of uh, the lower port rooms of the monastery. You don't see... Brother James, do you? No, it's like I'm beginning to wonder. It's like you are feeding him. I mean, are somewhat. You? I'm feeding him. Okay, well, I just don't want to come down there and find a skeleton. You or... didn't ask what I'm feeding him. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to know. And we need to stay on the air here. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, tonight's movie is we have a a, a, a classic in Grindhouse cinema. Uh, this is the 1970. Or, if I'm not mistaken, 1974 opus The Big Bird Cage, starring Anitra Ford, Pam Greer, and Sid Haig. Now, obviously, uh, Pam Greer, you, if, you, if you've if you watched any sort of Grindhouse films at all, you know her from films like um, Fox, uh, Foxy Brown, Sweet Coffee, um, the... Uh, the, the L Word on HBO, any number of projects. Um, very, very talented actress, very gorgeous woman. I mean, so fucking gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, yes, it's like if I was going to have a woman tie me up and beat me, that'll be, really? enough, out of, that'll be enough out of you. You'd what? Go ahead and finish that. It would be her, you know. I, I would definitely, you know, it's like I, wow. I would definitely tie, let, let her tie me to a tree. <laughs> But anyway, I like the word "let." <laughs> let yes, yes. I would. I would let her do that. You won't let me do that, but it's gonna happen anyway. 
Yes, it's like if Brother Jack comes in here with his arm to cast and limping and all beat up, we'll we'll know what happened. You had a good night? Yeah, that means and if I have a really big smile on my face. Let's face it all, friends, Brother Jack's a kinky bastard, you know, we all knew it going in, so, and yet you're still watching. Thank goodness I'm not. No, her... Every th show has to have a moral compass. That's right, yeah, and hers points due south. <laughs> <sighs> Gonna let that one go. Yes, it's like, I'll, I'll pay for that one later on. <laughs> when you're going south. Yes, yes, when I'm going... Ah, yes, I got that joke. <laughs> and I thought it might be over your head. And I see we have uh, we didn't bring the whip this, this no. week. No, we brought the riding crop, okay? It's like... The, the whip is strategically misplaced right now. Ah. Uh, the whip can be, the whip will be accessed at a moment's notice, so in short, watch your fucking step, Brother Jack. You know, it's like you're... No, I'd have to go down to the dungeon and remove it. Oh, it's like, I hope you wash it first. Anyhow, it's like, well, on that mental picture, um, to give you a little bit of the trivia behind uh, Big Bird Cage, this was actually filmed, it was filmed to be a part of a, uh, a larger budget film, but unfortunately the production company, uh, they lost their funding like halfway through the film, so the film was hastily rewritten to incorporate the scenes that were already shot and a really bare bones number of scenes after that point. Um, they, I believe they lost uh, part of, uh, Sid Haig had to cut his commitment short and so did Pam Greer. So a lot of the scenes in the second half of the film you'll see focusing more on Anitra Ford because... Uh, she was the only one left? Yeah, she was the only one, well, one of the only big name star. You know, uh, and Anitra Ford, as you know, was one of the original Barker's beauties on The Price is Right. She did the film uh, Invasion of the Bee Girls and several other low budget films uh, popular... Invasion during... of the Bee Girls? Yes, Invasion so of the Bee Girls. So it was a small film. It, well, yeah, it was a small budget film, and it was B as in B, you know, little, uh, oh. little, uh, little wing thing. Oh, I wasn't There was a very that. interesting scene where she, her and another girl were sitting there pouring honey on themselves and rubbing it in, you know. I thought you meant B. As in... As in no, no, no. not... No, you mean... Uh, D. No, oh, no, no, no. Not, no, not, I'm not, not talking cup size. No. So I thought maybe this is a small one? Yeah, it's like, no, Anitra Ford ain't no B, you know, she's a double D of anything. But any... Still small. Ah, uh, yes, it's Smart. like... All right, we know you're proud of them. Okay, we get it, we get it. Anyway, that's and, the anyway, film. Sorry. So, the second half... The second half... is on. Yes, the second half focuses more on Anitra Ford. Um, the film... Uh, well, we won't go into all of the trivia right now. We'll let you take a look at it here. The Big Bird Cage, starring Pam Greer, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakarama. Enjoy. Enjoy. No, it's it's not that kind of bee. It's you know, little you little winged bee. Little winged insect goes around. You know. Ooh. I yeah. like that noise. Yes, it's like I know you do. It's like, by the way, it's like, you might want to get a sound, a muffler put on that. It sounds like they're ripping up the street outside. <laughs> That's not when it's ripping up. <laughs> okay, well, on that happy note, uh, let me mull that one over here. The Big Bird Cage. A strange and brutal world of men who are only half men. Don't boy with me, dude, so you don't have anything I'd be interested in anyway. And women who are more than all women. I told you I was gonna cut it off if you tried to pull that shit on me. Ow! Oh! Oh! Girls of the Big Bird Cage, enslaved to every cruel whim and desire of a ruthless madman. Now, 
Now, where is Jungle? Don't you think I'd tell you before I let this fat pansy slap me around? Abused by savage degenerates. <laughs> Ravaged by vicious dogs. <laughs> punished by the terrible machine that maims tender bodies and cripples innocent young minds. <laughs> Damn it! She has no right not to tell us. She's the only one around here that any, and she won't even tell us about it. Denied the one thing which would make their life bearable. Their overheated passions burst forth in a wild rampage of vengeance and destruction. The Big Bird Cage. Pam Greer, Anitra Ford, Candace Roman, Ted Abracci, Carol Speed, Karen McKevick, and Sid Hayes. Where do you want to be buried, nigga? And it's Miss Nigger to you. Well, greetings, faithful followers. Welcome back. What do you think of the big bird cage so far? Big. Really big. Yes, it is. It was actually, uh, the set was built, uh, which is a series of different levels designed to look like a giant birdcage, but it's all made out of wood with various levels to it. And it was designed by the director's father, uh, the director being Jack Hill. Uh, it was designed and built by his father, who was a well-known carpenter in the Hollywood area at that time. Uh, you'll see a lot of scenes where... Uh, the female inmates are being strung up by their hair, by their ankles, by various other body parts that we really can't go into. Um, and some of those scenes were cut from the original print of the film to avoid them getting an X rating. There was also a very notable scene where several of the female inmates raped the guard, Rocco. Um, can't rape the willing. Yeah, well, it's like, I don't think, he, I saw the film, I don't think he was willing, you know? It's like, unless, you know, that's not a good look. Um, they had to remove that particular scene to avoid it getting an X rating. Uh, so we're trying to find an unedited print of the film, but we'll make do with what we have right now, because I definitely wouldn't mind seeing that scene just to see if it was all it was cracked up to be. Probably by standards those days? Yeah, in the 70s. Probably just be part of the film now. Yeah, and if this was the, if this was the 1970s, we, we, there's no way in hell we'd be on TV. You know, we'd be, I don't even know where we'd be doing this show if, if this was the 1970s, especially the mid-70s, you know, but God love public access and the internet and all the other places we are, you know, it's like, and God bless all our fans and everything. So I'd be having to wear like a habit and, uh... Well, no, you'd be wearing a burqa, dear. <laughs> I'd probably be dressed up like something out of Lawrence of Arabia and you'd be wearing a burqa. And isn't that a thought, you know? It's like whoever thought of that particular garment must have been out of their effing mind. You know, it's like, I'm sorry, it's like, what can you do? What, what can you say about a woman wearing a burqa? Ooh, she's got sexy eyes. You know? It's like, <laughs> you know, only in the desert, people, only in the desert would they come You're up with that. so hot. Look. Well, supposedly the fabrics I are... I your clothes the way it is. Yes, I... yes and we noticed, we've noticed that. We've seen you staggering around the Monastery of Mayhem pretty much in next to nothing. And keep up the good work. I got dressed for the show. Well, you, yeah, you can't do it naked. You, the, the coordinator of public access, all I can see is his head exploding. Sanjay would have a meltdown. You know, he's... Yeah, we're yeah. not letting him talk anymore. No. Do you see the ball gag? Yes, it's That's like... That's from last week. Uh, can can you breathe okay, Sanjay? Just, just nod your head. Okay, good. All right, if it starts getting... You know, give us the hand sign or something, you know, if you start getting he a little... He mouthy. Well, yes, he did. I saw that episode, but actually people like it, you know. It's... You know, we may have to let him out of the ball gag occasionally just so he can say something. Well, I let you out of the dungeon so you could come back to do the show. Well, that's mighty white of you. I, I know, right? Yes. You're yeah. welcome. Yes, thank you, dear. You know, and, um, you know, hopefully Inferno will be back next week. Uh, she's been 
doing some work for Down Below, and she's got a few big projects. Hell doesn't run itself. No. Well, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's like, no, I go to hell every day from 2.30 to 11, and that's just basically hell with fluorescent lighting, so... Another trivia fact? Yes, another trivia fact. Um, the film, uh, there was a scene where Anitra Ford was basically strung up by her, uh, by her hair, if I'm not mistaken, and it... The film, that second scene was very expertly done. The uh, rigger who rigged up her body harness actually moonlighted at one of San Francisco's largest BDS&M clubs as what they would call a rigger, which would be someone who does the intricate rope restraint work and rope work and tying of intricate knots. So, yeah, it's okay. It's like, I'm going to have to go throw a bucket of cold water on her. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and at that time... Right. Yes, you do, and I've seen the films, so. <laughs> yes. Anybody who wants to come and tie Lady Torrid up, write us, care, write us at the, uh, uh, send us an email at www.theangrybros.com, and we'll, we'll get you hooked up there. Um, also, um, for all the people who have sent us requests for autographed pictures this week, uh, they have gone out in the mail. You should probably get them in about, I would say, two to three days. So just keep that in mind, otherwise drop us a message either here at the show or on our Facebook page and we'll be happy to get that taken care of for you. But anyway, the uh, another little bit of trivia about this uh, film, there's a scene where Sid Haig actually hauls off and hits Pam Greer with a duck, with a dead duck. Um, there's been some controversy, everybody says, oh it's a stuffed duck, it's a fake duck. No, it's not. That duck was completely real and dead as a doorknob. Did he yell duck? I don't know if he yelled duck, but he took it and just boom! He should have yelled duck. And then if she didn't, then, yeah, she got then it would have been her fault, you know? Absolutely. It's like she got ducked, you know? And I like getting ducked. Yeah, Jack, Brother Jack doesn't get ducked often enough, but he's working on that. And uh, also one other thing, too, we put out our blo we put out our blooper our blooper show on YouTube. A uh, lot of great responses to that. People love it, so you know, thank you all. And when we get more blooper footage, uh, we'll be releasing another episode. There's a lot of bloopers. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like, but we're we're saving the good we're saving the good stuff till we get enough of it. But anyway, so we're gonna get back to the movie. The Big Bird Cage, here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockorama, starring Sid Haig, Anitra Ford, and Pam Greer. Enjoy. Enjoy. I'm in a big bird cage. Mm, yes. Well, I'm going to have to see where we can build that at. You know, it's like, I'll probably have to build it out in the courtyard or have it built out in the courtyard, you know. That'd be fine. Okay. What are, what are you going to do? Have your, you going to dress your little minions up as canaries and put them out there? Oh God! Sing, sing for me. Sing, little birdies, or you. It chirp, chirp. It puts the lotion on its skin, or it gets the fire hose again. No, I'm the only one who gets the hose. Oh, that's my teeth are going to explode. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh shit! The camera's still on. Ooh, oh, I don't know if we're going to... Yeah, we'll leave it in. What the hell? Otherwise, it's a blooper reel. There you go. It'll go in the blooper reel, but I think we'll leave it in. Sorry, I was just... just I can see the camera. That reminds me. I've got to get the shocks on the hearse done. You know, the ride's getting a little bouncy. I thought you liked the ride. Well, uh, oh, I love the ride, but, you know, it's a little distracting. I mean, we were going down Dodge Street, and you were... Boing, 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 and that one poor dude almost wrapped his motorcycle around a pole. We don't want to cause any cyclists to wreck. We like cyclists, you know? So, but, you know, I didn't care about the pole. Yeah, it's like, well, we'll have to, str we'll have to strap him down, you know? Take out the pole. Take out the pole. Or he he could have gotten hit. You know, save the motorcyclist, but... Yeah, exactly, but, you know, it's like... As much as I like to see the girls bounce when we go out, so... Okay, I'll stop. Well, greetings, faithful followers. Welcome back. Uh, 
Uh, before we get back to the uh, big bird cage here, we were uh, talking off off camera here, and you know we've had people on our YouTube page comment that they love Lady Torrid and then all the What's girls. What's not to love? Well, that's true. I mean, you are, you know, you are um, as as Sir Mixlot would say, "Baby got back," you know. Really, I've got a lot of front too. There you go. It's More like front. yes, you do. You have an excellent front and a excellent back too. But anyway, a um, couple of uh, our YouTube followers uh, sent us the emails asking, you know, uh, they was commenting, they love, you know, the fact that they love the spontaneity that you show in Inferna and Ash because they never really know what's going to, uh, they never really know what you're going to say. Well, I don't think about what I say before I say it because I like to be as surprised as everybody else about what comes out of my mouth. Or what goes into it? Sometimes. Well, you heard it. You hear heard it here first, people. Um, and things. <laughs> I, I I don't know where to go with that at this point. I, I have no, I have nothing to say. Um, you know, they like it best when you're tongue tied. Yeah, or just. Then tied. they don't have to listen to it. Yes, it's like. Brother Jack's trying not to get so technical about the movies, but damn it, he's, you know, I work in a very technical field, so it, it does bleed over from time to time. But to give you a little bit more trivia here before we wrap things up, um, there was a scene where uh, Terry, played by Anitra Ford, is being menaced by a guard with a very large German shepherd, and the dog is giving an impressive performance of being totally vicious, well, here, guess what, people? A little bit of trivia. The dog was totally vicious um, because of the fact that the, uh, the animal person or whoever handles the animals for the film made the mistake of getting guard dogs that were rejected from the Philippine military where this was filmed. So these dogs were quite honestly possibly rabid but extremely dangerous. And there was, a, there was actually a scene that was cut where the, one of the dogs did get away from its handler and chased uh, ter uh, Anitra Ford and another uh, female actress, a Gloria Roman, uh, into a, um, it was a military style vehicle and they were basically trapped in that vehicle for almost an hour until they could get a trank gun and trank dart and trank the dog to the point where he would leave them alone. Wow, I guess the ASPCA wasn't there that day, were they? Well, no, this was filmed in the... In the 70s uh, when... This was filmed in the 70s and this was filmed in the Philippines. That dog ended up on somebody's plate. You know, but they had to. They had to basically go like drive like an hour into another village and get uh, one of the local um, farmers who had a rifle and trank dart, and they had to pop the dog in the ass with it. I mean, I don't want to see any animal tranked. I mean, we're a big sponsor of animal, um, animal, no animal cruelty. We're big sponsors of the ASPCA and big supporters of them. Um, again, if you have, right now your local ASPCA here in Omaha is having a sale on cats. Basically, uh, they're literally giving them away. So if you want, want to get a... Uh, so if you love pussy, go, go get one. That's right. It, it, or two, get two. Yeah, you can never have too much pussy. Mm -mm. They're better in pairs. Yes, pussies are always good in pairs. Always remember that, you know, if you want a pussy that's going to stay with you for the rest of your life, go to your local Humane Society and adopt. How the hell, how the hell are we going to get away with that one? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll because see how... Because it was a public service yeah, There you go, we're supporting, we're supporting the ASPCA and the Absolutely. Humane Society. You know, if you read something else into it, it's your problem. Dirty, dirty minds. That's right. You're probably some red-haired hack wearing a lab coat, too. Anyway, that um, was, that was a double entendre. Give me, give me that. Yeah. You say that all the time, and you still don't get it, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, it's like, Brother Jack doesn't get it. There's a concept for mm. you. Wow, what a newsflash. Begging. Yes, it's like... So much begging around the monastery. Yes, yes, it's like, 
Yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a lot of begging, isn't there? I mean, we all better just kind of butch up here. Yes, you should. Ooh, you went there. I can't I believe like that. that. You like when I go there. Yeah, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I can't. Like I said, I'm a kinky bastard, but who who knew? You know, it's like... <laughs> Yeah. Everyone that's Everyone. met you. <laughs> Anybody who's ever met me, you got that right. You know, who knew this guy? <laughs> anyway, uh, next week's film, we're actually going to be uh, trying to get some more uh, independent films. We ran Rena Young's Monster of Golden Gate, which did staggeringly well. We've run uh, many of the films of Tony Watt, the Canadian Wild Man. I, those two, oh, did you get a chance to watch yeah. them? Or as Frank and... Frank and, Frank and Pimp, Pimp and uh, Vixen Highway 2006, It Came From Uranus. Yeah. Yeah, that's a title for you, isn't it, though? <laughs> Better than the Buzzard County. Oh, Acid Head, the Buzzard Nuts County Slaughter. Never going to get that one right. And Nosferatu versus Father Pipecock and Sister Funk. Yeah. yeah, I just finished watching that one the other day. Good film, good film. But, you know, we're working on getting some more independent films. Uh, you know, we are uh, gathering more and more, you know, we will hopefully be having some uh, uh, public screenings here shortly, you know, one definitely want to put together a small film festival. Um, and again, look for us on the Grindhouse channel, that's www.grindhousechannel.com, again, all one word in lowercase. Uh, also, if you have Roku, the Roku app will be out shortly and you can download that to your Roku streaming box and watch us basically uh, anytime you wish. So I'm Brother Jack Angry. This has been the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama Movie Night Live from the Monastery of Mayhem along with Lady, Lady Torrid. Torrid the one and we all only. have Facebook pages. So yes, we all have Facebook pages. Yes. There's the Angry Brothers and Inferna and Yours. Torrid um, and the only one who doesn't have a Facebook page at the moment is Ash, and we're trying to uh, we're trying to work on that. And if you have any questions for myself or Brother James, you can just send it either to our Angry Brothers Horror Host Happening Group or to the Angry Brothers Facebook page. And I'll eventually get them to Brother James. Yes, it's like when 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 you untie his hands long enough that he can read them, you know, it's like oh. Like he can read. Well, yeah, that's that's asking a lot of poor Brother James, but all right. So, good night, unpleasant dreams, and let's keep America on top. Watch Horror Host, y'all. I like being on top. Yes, you do. And, again, I can, take, I can state that from personal experience. In his dreams. Wait a minute, I'm dreaming now. You wish. Yeah. Nightmares. Yeah, it's like, no, it's like I'm having this really great dream of you cooking me a nice dinner <laughs> and doing my laundry and oh, doing honey. some housework. I don't cook and clean because I don't have to. Uh, women, are they a joke or did well, God do it to me on purpose? Well, you know the difference between a good woman and a great woman, right? Um, why don't you tell us? A good woman will cook and clean? A great woman will bring you a beer and doesn't have a gag reflex. I like that. I like that a lot, you know. It's like, and she would be a deaf, dumb, and blind nymphomaniac with a flat head and fold-away teeth. So that would be the perfect woman, y'all. So before the, just kidding, you know, before the N.O.W. comes down here and kicks me in the scrotum. Yeah, I do. I mean, you have uh, I beg to <laughs> I beg to you, I, you, I know you beg a lot. Yes. It's getting a little old. Yes, all right. Well, good night, unpleasant dreams, and see you all next week. Bye.